What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we are gonna be doing our very second uh, re product review. We're doing the uh, first build Opal Pebble Ice Machine. Uh, this is something that I have been very intrigued by for a long time. A lot of you that have been watching this channel for a while know how particular I am about my ice and really how particular I am about Pebble Ice cocktails and specifically using Pebble Ice as opposed to crushed ice in cocktails that call for that type of ice. Um, this is also something that I thought would solve a lot of problems for me because I spend a lot of money on Pebble Ice because I'm so particular about it. I end up having to go to ice companies to get it. Yeah, a lot of the viewers go to Sonic to go buy like a bag of Pebble Ice. A lot of people are like, how do I make this ice? And really you can't make it unless you have a machine. Uh, the machine that you use in commercial bars is called a Scotsman. Uh, which makes pebble ice. Uh, this machine is very close to what the Scotsman does, although the pieces of ice are a little bit bigger uh, than than what a Scotsman would make for you. If you can see, I'll just pull out a piece of ice out. It's just like a nice big piece of ice. So, you know, I think my main concerns about this, other than the cost, would be how quickly it makes ice, how it works, uh, is it easy to use, is it not easy to use? Um, and I used it for about two weeks before we shot this, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the way this machine runs. This machine uh, has got a pretty easy setup. Um, you just have a little reservoir inside here. Uh, here, if we just like pull it out to show you, there's like inside there's a little reservoir. Uh, it has a fill line. Uh, you fill it up to the fill line. Uh, before you set it up, you just run a little cleaning cycle to clean some water out. It has some hoses here on the back that you uh, just pull out to drain it. It's very easy to drain. Put it back in. After your cleaning cycle, you fill it up with uh, filtered water or bottled water, and then you let it run. And in about 15 minutes to 20 minutes, it starts making ice. About 25 or 30 minutes, you have half a thing of ice. It makes about maybe one liter. I don't know. That's not that's liquid volume, I guess, but it makes about four cups of ice. Uh, maybe a little bit over four cups of ice. Uh, I don't know, Marius, what am I missing here? Um, it comes with this little scoop, which I don't think I'll use very much, but it's there and you can use it. And it does function. Oh, I, I, I know what to talk about. We'll talk about cocktail application with this ice. So the major, obviously my uh, idea about getting this ice was for application for cocktails. I will say that I used it in soft drinks and I used it in soda water and I used it in water, just regular water this week. Um, and I'm very impressed with not only how well it chills uh, drinks, but also how well the ice stands up. It doesn't melt very fast. It's very robust ice. It kind of makes use of the, uh, if you put a lot of volume of ice in there, it makes use of that surface area uh, and really chills your cocktail down with minimal dilution. Uh, but I will say that for cocktail applications, this, if you look at it in here, it actually runs a little bit wet. The reason why it runs wet is because the this thing in here, this the tub that it sits in is actually angled down. And it's wet because what it does is it sort of melts back down into itself, melts back down into the reservoir and makes ice in a cycle, right? Unfortunately for cocktails, that means that your ice is a little bit too wet and you're gonna be getting a lot of that added dilution. So what I've been doing is I've been taking the ice every time it makes a full batch and putting it into a uh, container and putting it into a chest freezer in my garage so that I have perfectly cold ice when I need it. The great thing about that is that when you take an ice pick to it, all of the little pebbles break away and they don't form clumps from being wet and then freezing back together, which is really nice. That's one of the major problems that I have with uh, Scotsman machine ice is that if you use it, let's say for like cocktail videos, or like if you use it over and over again and pull it in and out of the freezer, it gets wet, it refreezes, it refreezes into a clump, and that's kind of a bad, uh, a bad, um, that's like a very bad thing for you. I just not, it's just like you get the clumps of ice and then half of your ice is trash, you can't use it. And that, this machine doesn't do it. So easy setup, a little bit expensive, but worth it if you're gonna use a lot of crushed ice or if you make cocktails seriously at home or if you, um, or if you have like a home bar or something and you're gonna use it, it's definitely worth the price. Uh, it, is a, it runs a little bit loud, which I didn't think I said yet, but it runs a little bit loud. But for me, I work in a bar, I'm used to a lot of loud noises, like loud fridges and freezers, and so I don't really hear it. Uh, my wife though has actually mentioned it to me that she said it runs pretty, pretty loud and do we have to have it in the kitchen? So there's that. 
But for me, that's a small price to pay for its functionality. It's gonna, it's going to save me a lot of money in the long run because I'm not gonna have to run out and get ice. And not only that, we've had times where Marius and I were gonna shoot and we had pebble ice cocktails planned and we go to the ice company to get pebble ice and they're out and they don't have any. So then we can't do those cocktails. That'll never happen again because we will have pebble, a steady stream of pebble ice forever. I could rain pebble ice on myself and just be like, pebble ice. And we didn't say we like we bought this with our own money. We this is not oh yeah, this is not a sponsored video. So first build did not pay me to do this video. They did not send me a free machine. Uh, I am doing this completely of my own volition. I, I have been watching. I've been looking at this on my Instagram feed. This has been a sponsored Instagram post on my Instagram feed for months, and I've been watching it and kind of reading the comments and very intrigued by it. Uh, and I got to tell you that the price point sort of scared me off for a little bit, but then I just decided that I would bite the bullet and buy it anyway, because I was just so intrigued by it. And I thought, well, I can at least make a video about it and tell everybody else about it. So I guess that would just make it worth it. Um, so I will say that, you know, it's something that I felt like I had to save up for, but it's it, it I'm glad that I bought it and I've been having fun with it since I got it. So for the last couple of weeks. I don't know, I think that's it. That, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any other co qu comments or questions, just comment below. We, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and that's it. I don't know, anything else, Marius? Am I missing anything? I think that's it. All right, okay. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash barfly, where we have a lot of exclusive content that you will never see on YouTube. It is never gonna come to YouTube, like home bar advanced stuff that I don't do here. We're doing also, we're doing a whole punch series that we just is just gonna kick off pretty soon, or I'm probably when you're watching this video, it's already kicked off, but uh, it, we're doing a whole punch series that's gonna be awesome, never gonna come to YouTube, and uh, the only live streams that I do right now are live streams for Patreon. Uh, so subscriptions start at about a buck, and they go a little bit up from there. I feel like there's something for everyone, you should check it out if you're interested. And then, uh, I know that you've been thinking how sexy and strapping I look in this apron. Well, it's not me. I'm sort of average looking guy, but it's the apron that kind of makes the man. So check them out at staggerlygoods.com. They are our apron sponsor. I love what they do. It is very hardy, very well made clothing that'll last, uh, something to protect you when you're behind the bar. And they have a 30% discount running through the end of the year. So just go to staggerlygoods.com, put whatever you want in your basket, and then just hit SLG save 30 at checkout and you will save 30%. Check out our, our tool sponsor, um, Barfly Mixology Gear, which gives us all our wonderful tools. And I think that's all I got to say to you guys. I will see you guys on another time. Link, we have an affiliate link below for this. If any of you guys end up buying this thing, hit our affiliate link and we get a little kickback from Amazon and that helps us create the show. So we can just get a little bit of money for the money that you're gonna spend anyway if you use our affiliate link and that helps us greatly because we cobbled together a little bit of money to help us pay for all of these wonderful videos we make you. All right, guys, that's enough. It was a mouthful. I will see you guys on another time.